So how can we derive Newton's law of cooling from Stefan Boltzmann's law? According to Stefan Boltzmann equation, the rate of heat transfer dQ by dt is equal to epsilon sigma a t raised to 4 minus t0 raised to 4, where epsilon represents the emissivity, sigma represents the Stefan Boltzmann's constant, a represents the area of the body or the surface area, t the absolute temperature of the body or the just the what, what, what is the temperature of the body at what temperature the body exists t0 the temperature of the surrounding or the temperature of the enclosure and the, let's call this as equation number one suppose you have a mass m mass m let C be its specific heat capacity, specific heat capacity, T the temperature of the body and T0 the surrounding temperature. Then if the temperature of the body drops by amount dt, then the heat transfer is equal to dq. Let the heat transfer be dq. And you know the equation dq, the heat amount of heat transferred will be mass times specific heat capacity times the change in temperature of the body. Since the heat is lost, you have to apply a minus sign. So if you divide this equation by dt, let's call this as equation number 2. Then if you divide this equation 2 with the, the time dt, change in time, then you will get minus dq by dt is equal to mc dt by dt and you have dt by dt change rate of change of temperature with respect to time is equal to minus 1 by mc taking this to the left dq by dt implies dt by dt is equal to minus 1 by mc instead of dq by dt you can substitute the value of value in equation number 1 that is epsilon sigma a t raised to 4 minus t0 raised to 4 let's call this as equation number 3 now let's take the equation 3 again and let's take this term t raised to 4 minus t t0 raised to 4. This can be written as t square whole square minus t0 square whole square. And this is equal to a square minus b square is equal to a square minus b square. Here this a is equal to t square and b is equal to t0 square into t square minus plus t0 square and this can again be simplified as a square minus b square equal to t minus t0 into t plus t0 into t square plus t0 square and if you multiply these two keeping this same t minus t0 this will be t into t square t cube t into t0 square t t0 square t t0 square plus t0 t square plus t0 cube. Now if the temperature system temperature of the system and the surrounding is very very small the difference in the temperatures are very small we can approximate t equal to t0. So, this will be T minus T0, you just consider the difference as the same, but all this T instead of T, you can put T0. So, T0 cube plus T, T0 into T square, T0 square plus T0, T0 square plus T0 cube. This will be
t minus t zero into this is equal to t zero cube plus this also is t zero cube plus t zero cube again plus t zero cube. So the expression become four t zero cube into t minus t zero. Now here you here you can plug in the value of this. So now the equation is the equation for the equation three become dt by dt is equal to minus one by mc epsilon sigma a into instead of t raised to 4 minus t0 raised to 4 you can write this for t0 cube into t minus t0 that is now let us consider the equation we have all these values that is m c epsilon sigma a and for t0 cube all remains constant so dt by dt is equal to minus k a constant times t minus t0 and this is the expression for the newton's law of cooling where k equal to epsilon sigma a for t raised t0 raised to 3 divided by mc so this this concept this concept that change in temperature with respect to time is proportional to the difference in the temperature of the body and the surrounding and this is called the Newton's law of cooling. So we just derived this Newton's law from the Stefan-Boltzmann equation.